All right, so they don't have any in stock, but right here we have the Turbo RR with Smart Shock, 72 inches, and we are going to, I don't even know what I did with my card. And today starts the Can-Am build. So, I ordered a 2022 XRS Can-Am with Smart Shocks, and today we are picking up some Packard V2 wheels and a set of paddle tires for it, which is the first thing that I've actually bought for it. Sam got a flat tire in her Range Rover, so we're gonna head over to the Land Rover dealership, get that fixed, and then we're gonna try and make it back to the airport by noon, no, 11 so that we can fly out to Vegas for the night and then we'll fly back in the morning because I've got to take my Mustang and get it dropped off so that it can get lowered. And then maybe, just maybe, our hood will be done getting painted over at Wilford. So let's go ahead and pick up our parts that we ordered from Jay and I'll show you guys around the shop and then we'll head to Vegas. Ooh. Is some rippers, dude? All righty, so for the rears we're going with Sandcraft Ripper 12 paddles, and then we're going with Mohawk buffs on the front, and I believe these right here are the wheels that we picked up. So we're gonna go ahead and get this setup all pulled down. We got Jay hooking us up here. I'll drop some uh, info down What's in the up, description guys? if you guys need hooked up on anything UTV, these are your guys. So we're going with 15 by seven fronts, 15 by 11 rears. So we're gonna have some girth on this XRS. Let's get these loaded up and then we gotta head off to the Range Rover dealership. The man himself is loading them up for us too. Look at this, taking great care of us. All right guys, first look at the lowered Mustang. Now, it's not a whole lot lower, but it's still functionable and lower. So we went three quarters of an inch drop on all four corners. Now I think we just might need some bigger wheels and tires to uh, fill in a little bit of that gap right there. What do you guys think? Let us know. All right, thank you boys. Okay, let's get these things home. I wish we could get them installed, but we still have like, I think a month until the car gets here. Already starting to get all sorts of uh, parts for the Can-Am. I just dropped it, but real quick, I wanna know what you guys think. Would you take lowered? Or lifted. Let me know down in the comments which one of these you guys would be driving. Okay, they pulled it right up. Pulled it right up here, right up front, and check this 